Hey, everybody. Welcome. This is a small training on Media Shout 6 that we use here at Living Faith. Um, so uh, my name is Blake Plimpton. I am the pastoral assistant here at Living Faith, and I help out a lot with the tech booth and our training involved there. I wanted to get this training out to you guys to have just a quick refresher um, on a Sunday morning before you come into service. This way you can come in at specific times, you know what to do, what to expect when you get here. If you haven't served in a while, maybe you just need a quick little refresher. This will give you that refresher. If you look in the on the red bar on YouTube that is going across, you'll notice different timestamps and different chapter markings. So if you just need a refresher on a specific piece, feel free to head to that section and just watch from there. Other than that, I'm going to dig into this straight from beginning to end. And so um, we're going to just go over all of the parts first and then what to do on a Sunday morning. So let's look over here really quick at this left side. This is what I like to call the database. This over here is a group of slides or the, the collection of the different slides that we use for a Sunday morning. So notice this is quite long. There are also different things in here. There's also what's called comments. These don't do anything. When you click on them, it just is a comment to let you know what's coming up and the different sections that we have. So you can see there's a lot of different slides in here, a lot of different collections of slides as well. And so, I mean, we have 83 in this one alone. So there's a lot of different moving parts to our liturgy and to our service. And we wanted to break them down into easy, uh, manageable bytes instead of just creating one big thing. So from there, I'm just going to go ahead and click here. Um, you can see that right here, this is the editing section of the um, of the slides. As a volunteer, you shouldn't have to ever deal with this. This is mostly for those who are setting up slides on Saturday or Sunday morning and paginating things or putting in songs, whatever else it might be. This is where we do all the editing. Again, as a volunteer, you should never really be in this spot up in this area. Um, everything should already be done for you when you get here. Um, but it's important to know because sometimes this looks different than this over here. So this right here is the main program. This is a is a copy of what's showing on the main TV. So if you're here on a Sunday morning, you can click around here all you want, but if you notice, the main program never changes because none of the slides have actually been selected to fire onto the main program or onto the main screen. So, um, so over on this side, we have our main program. Like I said, this is a copy of what's actually on the screen um, for those in person. And then down here is what's called a stage view. This is a different a view that allows us to um, allows people to have a different perspective on slides that are up on the screen or ones that are coming up. It's a little bit more distraction free. Uh, for people on the worship team or things like that, just or people at lectern or anything like that to give them a better view. Now, I will caveat this and say that at Living Faith, we don't use this, actually. We don't use this feature at all. So this section is going to become irrelevant. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to be pulling up a keyboard. Um, whoops, not that. I'm going to be pulling up a keyboard. Um, the on-screen keyboard for you guys so that you can see some of the different pieces and parts while I'm moving it along. So I'm going to put it right over the top of this since we don't need it anyway. So let's take a look at um, the different slide structures. So really quick, just to give you an example, this, this is a slide we've selected. This is a slide that can be edited. And over here, there's nothing. So to put it up onto the main program or put it up onto the main TV, we have to double click it. Once we double click it, then it pops up. Now you'll notice this is going to stay the same and this section right here, the editing section is going to change as I select different stuff over here. So let's look at the, um, let's look at the colic for purity, for example. So I'm going to click here. Each of these is, a, is in the database. There's a collection of slides. So the colic for purity, if I click in here, this has three pages. So we can see this page one, we have page two and we have page three. So some of these are just one slide. So you can see one or one page. So this this deck or this slide or this this selection of slides is just one slide. The acclamation is just one, right? So this is a, for our upcoming Easter service. It says Alleluia, Christ is risen, people. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. So then now you go down to Colic of Purity though, and you have three different slides. So 
As a volunteer, you're going to want to look in two main, three main places. You're going to want to make sure you're on track over here. You're going to want to make sure you're on the correct slide right here or the correct page right here. And then you're just going to want to check here to see what's actually on the TV. Or you can always look up at the TV yourself when you're here in person. So these are the different parts and pieces. So um, let's just kind of go over what to do when you get here on a Sunday then. So this, these four slides, these might change in number, they might change in design, they might change in picture, but there's gonna be announcement slides always at the beginning. These are on what's called a loop. So if I click this down arrow, we can see that these are timed and they're on a five second um, interval. I'm gonna change that to seven because it should be seven seconds. So these are on a seven second interval. So we can see that right here when the down arrow hits. So we can see the seven there. We can also see the seven right here. So we know that this is timed for seven seconds. If we go to this one and we see it's timed for five, so we're gonna change that again to seven. I'm just gonna change all these while we're here because it's important. Um, so these are all gonna be on a loop. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna go through all the slides. So I'm just gonna double click on this the first one and I'm gonna talk through it as it's doing these slide changes. So this is allows us to put multiple different pictures up in, in our worship service or before our worship service so that people at, here in, uh, in person can get a better idea of what's going on in our church, how to get connected, ways to give, what's happening and what's going on. Um, these have remained pretty stagnant, but for the most part, we want them to to be um, for people to see and to be get involved. So, as a youth vol as a volunteer, you always want to get this going and moving in the right direction. So that way, if it's not going when you get here, uh, it's just one more thing to kind of make sure. Hey, are the announcement slides working through so that people in person or at home know what's happening in our church? So as you can see, it's moving through the slides on its own. I'm not clicking anything. I'm not pressing space bar over here. It's just going through. Now, when it gets to the bottom one here, it's going to move up to the top. Now, at, at a certain point in the worship service, we're going to begin the prelude, but um, we need to double-click that slide. However, it just moved on me. So what I need to do is kind of move quickly, go down to here, and double-click it. And once I double click it, we know it's on the main program here and we're good to go. Then from there, it's going to be simple. We're just going to be pressing space bar the whole time. So I'm going to use this on screen keyboard again here to kind of show you just, just you guys have a visual. You're not going to be able to see me press the space bar, but you will be able to see me press it here and it should work just fine. So right now we're in media shout. We're, we're going through the prelude um, and um, we have the welcome. Um, after the welcome is, um, oh, we also have the processional during, like, so you have the prelude and then we have the processional. There's going to be a song in here and then the processional has happened and we have the welcome. So now we're on the welcome. Father Peter usually introduces himself. He's a rector, the pastor, the priest, you know, whatever he decides to stay. And then from there, he's going to go to the acclamation. So we press the space bar one time and boom, it goes straight to the acclamation. Notice how there's a lag. That's kind of normal. The main TV is moving with the space bar here, but the program just takes a second to catch up. So this might change or that might change later, but it's it's okay. The, the program or the TV in the sanctuary is moving at the right pace. So he says, Alleluia, Christ is risen, people, the Lord is risen indeed, Alleluia. He says, all right, together let us pray, and so we do the collect of purity. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. So notice how I'm pressing that space bar, and it's just going along. So really... As a volunteer, we just need you to be basically doing two things. One, make sure you're paying attention and you're involved in the service. Because if you're reading off the screen and the TV, just like everyone else is in person, then you're going to be able to keep up with the transitions and the timing and the things of that nature um, to be able to help people worship better. So um, a great example of this is during the reading. So I'm going to scroll down here in our database over to the readings. We're going to go to Isaiah 25, 6 through 9. I'm going to double click it, put it on our main program. So one of the things that you want to make sure you're doing is um, there's a difference between double clicking and space bar. Like I said, I can click once anywhere in here um, and it's not going to change the main program. If I want to get to a certain slide, then I want to make sure I double click on that to put it on the main program. Right. So I can even click down in here to change the different slides. But you notice I'm going through the, the lessons here, but it's not changing on the main program. So this is where you always want to either double click or press space bar. I recommend pressing space bar. It's the easiest thing to do. We have it 
it's set up so it's going to go through every slide in order in the way that it needs to go. So the other key thing to remember is to just make sure you're like a second or a little bit ahead of people when they're reading or when the worship songs are going. This script doesn't have any songs in it right now, so we're going to use lessons as, a, as an example. So Isaiah 25, 6, um, where this is 6 through 9. So I'm going to start reading, and I want you to notice over here on the right-hand side when I'm pressing the space bar. And that way it gives you an idea of when to move early and when to know to, to move forward. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, of rich food full of marrow, of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the casting that is cast over the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces. So notice how as I'm reading through this, I'm clicking that space bar just a little bit before I finish the sentence. Most people are either reading along with the rate of the person at the lectern or they're reading ahead themselves. So if you can get those slide transitions right on time, it just makes our our uh, lessons go that much smoother. It makes it a little less distra distracting for the people in person worshiping. So they're able to just follow along, no problem. So I hope that was a good example. You guys can practice that more um, every Sunday when you're back here. Um, just making sure you get those timings right. It takes some practice. It takes some getting used to. So don't feel bad if you struggle the first couple times through. Um, the last thing I would say is just I don't have an example in here of songs, but when you when you are going through songs, um, just making sure that you're able to follow along and know and listen to the song. Is this person going back to the chorus? Are they going back to a different verse? Are they going to um, repeat the same verse they just said? Just kind of keeping an eye out and an ear out for what's happening and kind of learning the songs as we sing them. For the most part, we do them in the same order, so being able to follow along there is really helpful. Um, but that's it for Media Shout. Those are really the basics. Just remember, just keep pressing space bar. And if you mess up, let's say you, you know, you're back here and we get to Psalm 118 and, you know, you, you think you press it, but you accidentally press it twice. Just grab your mouse, get back over here, double click on the right slide, and that will get us right to where we need to be going. But for the most part, just pressing that space bar one time gets us moving in the right direction and keeps us worshiping God and keeps us being able to um, participate in in the worship service as we continue to have it. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. If you guys have any more questions, don't fe don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, my email is blake at livingfaithanglicanchurch.org. Um, you can email me any questions. If you have my number, you can call me, you can text me, you can drive up to my house, whatever you feel like. Um, but I'm always here to help you guys out and make sure we can get you fully trained and feel confident back here each and every Sunday. I am so thankful and grateful for your support and for how you help us worship on every Sunday morning. Um, again, I hope this was helpful, and I hope that you guys all have a blessed day.